Hey, Kings of Dragons, Dragon King 551 here. And today, we're going to be doing a video game video on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X of their new exclusive games coming and um, new ones coming in the near future. So obviously, we have the ones that are coming in 2021 of um, these months, and we also have the ones coming in 2023 and later down the line. Let's start with the big name game for everyone that everyone loves for PS5 because Sony owns the freaking rights to it for most of the time. Spider-Man, the game number two. Now, we've had other Spider-Man games, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 um, for Xbox and PS, um, PlayStation, and we've had other ones like that. We've also had um, a couple other ones here and there. So with that being said, let's get right into this Spider-Man game. Now, obviously, I believe you know the Spider-Man 1 game pretty well if you have played it on PS4 um, and um, PS5 with the remastered edition and the new Miles Morales game that came out. Obviously, we know that they did a very good adaptation of MJ and Peter Parker in that one. That one was, like, really good. It um, represented very good with the actor who um, voiced Peter in that. It kind of seemed like a Tobey Maguire vibe I was getting. I liked that a lot. Um... So obviously we know in the um, post credit scene in the video game, we see, I believe it's Harry Osborn in a tank of water with the Venom symbiote. Now I think his father's trying to find a cure for him because he knows the Venom symbiote will take over and try, or he's trying to help him because he's sick. Um, so then we also get the Miles Morales game that came out, I believe last year or the year before, one of those, I believe it was last year though. And that game was pretty cool and stuff. And I thought it was looked very interesting. I tested it a couple of times. I thought it was fun. Um, and then you have, obviously, the new one that's coming out, Spider-Man 2 in 2023. And that game is with Miles Morales and Peter Parker. And you see in the trailer, Venom, finally. I mean, you will finally get um, a time to play against Venom. I mean, we have had Carnage. We've played against Carnage before in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 video game. And we've played against um, stuff like that. I don't know why, though, they did Carnage in the video game. And they didn't really use the adaptation from the movie where you fight the Green Goblin and Electro. But hey, that's just whatever. Um, for that let's really talk about this game though so i believe if you know assassin's creed syndicate really well the um the british one there's two um twins there sister and brother and you can switch between them for certain missions and stuff what i think is that sony will do the same aspect here where you'll be able to play as Peter Parker for certain um, missions and game and play and stuff. And you'll be able to play with Miles Morales for other gameplay. Or I have another theory where you can play now two player campaign where um, one of you is Spider-Man. The other one is Miles Morales. And now you're going to fight crime together. And basically that's how the story plays. So with that one, that's all I have to say about it. Let's get into the next um, PlayStation game which I have a big problem with this one. Now, do, uh, hear me out. I have both. I, I have an Xbox and I have a PlayStation 4. I have an Xbox One and the PS4. I, 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 I turned my back on Xbox for, um, for a year or two because I didn't like the new Halo that came out, Halo 5. And there weren't really exclusive games I liked anymore. It was Forza, um, Gears of War, and Halo were the three games. And then... Personally, I feel like the big three for PlayStation were Spider-Man, Last of Us, and Gears of, um, and, um, sorry, not Gears of War, uh, Uncharted and stuff. Those were the three games I fought. And then everyone's like, oh, Call of Duty is a PS game. It's not an Xbox game, which was really stupid. I don't know why some people believe that. That is exclusive. And then also I played MLB The Show, which was a PlayStation exclusive for a while until the new one came out um, this year. But my point being is that I like all the games equally. I have no problem with them. It's just, I have a problem when you release a game like this, Marvel Wolverine. Now, Disney owns the rights to Fox. Obviously, they bought the rights to Fox. So 
So this game is obviously coming out 2024 or 2025. They have not given us a full date of it. Now this game, this trailer looked good, but my problem is Disney owns the rights. Sony doesn't. Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man. makes sense. But this game, you don't own the rights to it, so it shouldn't be exclusive. It should be made for Xbox players as well. Listen, I'm a both player. I like both consoles. And I'm not trying to, like, oh, defend Xbox players or defend PlayStation players. I'm trying to give equality to both. And this game just seems like it's wrong aspect of it. Why the hell are you giving me a game for only PlayStation players? It makes no sense. That's like saying, I'm trying to think of an Xbox game that, um, or just make it for Xboxes. That's like saying Madden 20 or um, 2K or NBA Live or like one of those sports games. Oh yeah, sorry, it's only, uh, or FIFA. Oh, that's only for Xbox players. PlayStation players can't play that anymore. That's like stupid. I mean, come on now. Like, Marvel, get your head out of your ass and freaking make the game for all of us. And here we go again with the next game, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Now, I re remember this game that was a PC game, the original one. This is the remake um, version. And again, it's going to PS5. Now, these games are all PS5. They are not PS4 exclusive. But it's two, two, three years away when these games are coming out. So again, as I've said on TikTok or, um, or other videos, why buy a PS5 or an Xbox Series X when you know these games are not going to come out for like three or four years? The only games that I know right now that I'm going to go into the Xbox game shortly that I'm going to talk about that I know are coming out this year are Forza and Halo Infinite. So I'll talk about those games in a minute. But again, Star Wars, old Knights of Renda Republic. You don't own it, Sony. You don't have the power. You don't have the power. Disney has the power to that game so i just don't get it i don't understand it i don't like it but i think they'll be good exclusives for playstation it's just retarded though um personally i think it's just so stupid that you make a game for playstation but again you don't own the rights i personally think if you own the rights or um you're in a partnership with that company, then I say it's okay. But personally, I feel if you're a big company like Marvel or something, no, you can't make that game just for PlayStation players. Same with Star Wars. You can't make that game just for Xbox players or PlayStation players. The um, Jedi Fallen Order game was really good for both Xbox and PlayStation players, and we can't wait to see the second one. But come on now. And Star Wars Battlefront, that game was made for both. Why are you making this game only for PlayStation players? Get your head on straight. And um, yeah, I mean, that, that pisses me off. I mean, it's really dumb. Yeah, I just don't get it. That's my just my point of view. I just don't understand it. Um, so let's move on to the Xbox games. So obviously we have Xbox Forza Horizon 5. This game is coming out November 9th, 2021. Obviously, we know PS um, PlayStation doesn't really have a lot of racing games. I think they have NASCAR as one of their games. This game's all right. I mean, I've played um, other Forza games. Um, I do have to say it's very sensitive if you don't change your settings. The first time I played, I was hitting every freaking wall and going off the track like a madman. <laughs> so I, I was never really good um, at the game myself. But hey, that's just me. So, some games I'm better at. Some games I'm worse at. It's just how you play and stuff now we're gonna get over to the game that i fought, fell in love with when i originally had the original xbox and i played that game a long time ago with my father halo infident halo in general this was one of the greatest franchises to ever live this was the game that could compete with call of duty players and show them out and knock them on their ass if it needed to because this game personally was so much better than call of duty at times and call of duty effed up damn straight they effed up and that's why halo was succeeded uh, succeeded at one point or another you had advanced warfare you had um call of duty ghosts you had all these future you had halo infinite infinite warfare you had all of these i'm sorry call of duty infinite warfare 
you had um you had all these freaking games of futuristic jumping around um with an echo skeleton suit uh basically like a jetpack thing jumping around like a buffoon jumping off walls running on walls shooting people like a psychopath and stuff doing all these wacko things the best um for them was like the slide function and stuff so you had all these stupid stuff and i was like yo like i get you're fighting other human beings but this went into freaking like like halo should have patented that and said what are you doing you can't have jumping around motherfuckers jumping around like this bing 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 like come on bro what the hell are you doing call of duty i mean you can't do that halo invented that they have jet packs and you jump and you use hammers and all this on these swords and um these sneak moves and stuff come on call of duty get your head on straight literally come on that was Halo. That was light years ahead of you. You you need to get the frick out of here. So I'm so happy that they haven't made like tried to make a futuristic game again because Black Ops 4 was horrible. Um, that game was never good. Cold War is a little bit better, but hey, that's all I have to say about Call of Duty. I was really in, uh, pissed off about that. So let's get back to this Halo. Halo was one of my favorite games. Halo 1, 2, 3, 4. Great games. I mean, the first one was so awesome. I love, um, I don't know if you guys ever played it, but I love the scene where you come out in the big snow and you're in the tank and you're like, this atmosphere is so great. I love fighting the hunters. They're the toughest, baddest aliens around. They're like, have impeccable shields and like hard, um, hard skin. And it's like really um, impossible to destroy them. You have to come around the back and just kill them. And it's just so much fun fighting them. Um, then you have the um, the uh, elites who are really cool. I love when they have the energy sword and um, any of these guys. And then you have the little group people that are like really small and they're um, they're easy to just punch and it's fun to just like wham and they go flying like fifty feet into the sky. You're just like die, bitch! And it's just like hilarious. Um, I like the flood though. The flood is hard to kill. I mean, there's one believe it's the flood i forget who it is but this one guy has like a hammer he sends 50 people fly. there was one guy though i remember one time and i believe it was the um elite he was invisible he came behind me tried to kill me i threw a grenade right at his ass he went flying the best ones are probably the plasma grenades when you stick them to their body they just go boom and blow up i don't like the other grenades and stuff so i think halo this is Halo 6, obviously. I think it's going to be a good game. I hope it's a better storyline, and I just hope it's a better game. I liked Halo 1. I loved 2. 2 was pretty fun. I believe 2 was the introduction to where you could use two guns at once, where you could pick up two pistols and you could use them at one time, which was really fun, and that, that was a good interactive thing. Halo 3 was probably one of my favorites, but I do have to say Halo 2 is probably um, one of the best ones. A lot of people like Halo 2 better than 1. They think it's their, um, the best Halo of all time. I like Halo 1, obviously. I got to go with the original, the OG. Um, Halo 4, I didn't mind. I mean, it was really weird, though. Cortana was having, like, a lot of problems, and I, I, just, didn't, I just didn't like it as much as I liked 3. 3 was pretty fun. 5, though, had really no direction. You had he had Master Chief um, where he was where he was like missing at one point and then you had to use the um, sport, Spartan or something was the other guy and it, I don't know it just it never feel, felt right to me in the game and I just didn't really like Halo 5 but those are my Halo games and stuff so until next time guys don't forget to stay radical I'll see you in the next one and um i hope these games pan out and i really just hope that marvel um decides to go a different route with that game and tries to make it non-exclusive and same with star wars but yeah until next time guys don't forget to stay radical i'll see you in the next one